Okay, hello again. I don't know what happened there. I'm back. Am I back? Is this working? Who knows? Say hello. Is it, am I back? What happened? Did I, did it just go to sleep? There was a moment where I was like, I, I, I don't know what's happening. I am, I am not literate in the ways of Instagram live. Um, um, but Magpie is out. I was kind of halfway through listening it, I've, listening to it on Spotify. I am back. Thank you. Um, <laughs> let's see if it's on YouTube, shall we? Are you, have you come out properly? Yes. Okay. Have I gone again? Didn't mean to. I've got to stop pressing my phone. Back I what is my phone doing now? It's not showing any pictures. It's really, I mean, I got no idea what's going on. Not today. I'm, I'm wondering, shall I shut this? Or, or shall I just have a sip? No one sips vodka. It's a bit weird it playing through this live stream, but I am I'm so excited. So um I had a couple of people message me today asking how we recorded the song, how, how I recorded the song. So I wrote the song I think my second week in quarantine. I just got back to to um Devon, where my family live. I've been in New York City, which has become my home um, over the last couple of years. Um, and I wonder, shall I pause this? I think I'll pause this. Um, or shall I let you guys finish listening? I think I'm going to let you guys finish listening. <laughs> I can't wait. I'm just wanting to talk. Um, just bone breaks and cancer and the usual oh, It's too loud, we can't hear you. Okay, so I should turn the music off. It's kind of hard to hear you talking while the song plays, but it's hilarious. Great. <laughs> I'm doing really well here. Can you hear me now? Let me know if you can hear me. There you go. Okay. Um, I wonder if there's a lag on this. I think there usually is a lag on these. Um, <laughs> this has been such a fuck up of a live stream. <laughs> um, I think, what was I saying? Okay, um, I had some people ask me today how, or how I recorded the song. Um, so I wrote the song, um, when I just got back to Devon. I came to Devon to be with my family, but my, my... My home has become New York City the last couple of years um, and especially in the last six months or so I've really kind of fallen in love with the city and yeah it's 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 just it's become the place I'm happiest um, and um, uh, my mum is messaging me to move my phone away from the computer I wonder why I wonder if that's still the case um, yes big lag yeah I'm, I'm aware big lag um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so I wrote the song when I came back to Devon and I was thinking about New York, um, and this very, very strange time that we're in. Um, and I hadn't been feeling creative at all when things started shutting down. I felt just completely staggered by this, by this craziness. Um, and then... And then one evening I started writing these lyrics uh, and I read them to my parents and to my boyfriend and and they were like, you need to record this. 
Um, so I, I recorded the song on this microphone in my bedroom and that's why at the end of the song you can hear birds. That's not, that's not like a superimposed bird or anything. Those were just the birds chirping outside my window. <laughs> um, um, so I recorded it in my bedroom and Thomas Bartlett, um, recorded the piano and did all the production in his studio in New York. Um, and it was a bit complicated doing the piano line because it's not a song that we play to click or anything. It's, it's quite free timing. And, um, so it was, it was a couple of very awkward FaceTime calls where we were trying to get a FaceTime where there wasn't any lag and he could hear the timing I wanted to sing. Um, um, but we got there eventually. <laughs> um, and uh, Pat Dillett mixed it from his home in Connecticut. And then, and then I thought that I was just going to put it up on SoundCloud and then actually decided that I wanted uh, I wanted to release the song in a way where it could possibly make some money because I would really like um, I would really like to donate to um, this amazing New York based charity called City Harvest. Um, and so all the money this year from streams of the song will be going to City Harvest NYC. There is some more information on City Harvest on my in my bio link thing oh god really me and words this evening i'm too excited um live streams nerve-wracking shout out to thomas thanks barbara <laughs> um um yeah so all of the proceeds for the next year will be going to city harvest and there's more information about them on my link in my bio um and magpie is out it's out um, and I think you guys can listen on YouTube wherever you are. Um, and I, I hope, I hope that works well. <laughs> One second, I'm looking at questions. I'm really too excited to be dealing with this. Um, how long did I take to write the song? Um, I wrote, I wrote all of the lyrics in, I don't know, 25 minutes. I, that, that tends to be how songwriting goes for me. I tend to feel completely dry for ages and then sit down and it's like vomit. It just, that's not a very pretty analogy, but um, it is like, it's it's like word vomit. It just comes out and then it's there. Thank you, Ellie, that's so kind. Um, yeah, so I, I wrote, I wrote the lyrics in like 25 minutes and then the next day spent all day kind of trying to hammer out a melody at my piano, getting very pissy at my my family who were in the kitchen. The piano was like in the room adjacent to the kitchen, so any kind of noise, and I was like, "Shh, shh, I'm trying to write." <laughs> um, and then, yeah, I think it took about a total of, I want to say, five days to get the song written, recorded, produced, mixed, and mastered. We got it done so fast. And the only long bit really was was getting it processed by the streamers. Like that's that's the bit that's taken a minute. Um, and as I've never released a song before, it's it's been a bit fiddly. Um, which instruments can you play? I play the piano. Um, someone's saying pianos are cool. Yeah, yeah, I think pianos are very cool. <laughs> um, oh, thank you, thank you, everyone who is messaging saying lovely things about the song. Um, one second, I'm going to look at, your personality is very different from Sue. Yeah, I should hope so. She's like, in mourning. <laughs> I should, I should hope that I don't seem like, like Sue. When is your full album dropping? Not for a while. I don't know. Who knows? Um, this song was really uh, reconnecting. I'm sorry, guys. I am in Devon. So there are moments where it's pausing um, because um, I'm in the middle of nowhere. Um, I'm gonna look at questions. Now you've released one song, can we expect more music from you? Uh, 
Um, yes, definitely, for sure. Um, I'm really, really excited about releasing more music eventually. Um, this, I really like fast-tracked the process of getting this song out because it's so much about the time we're in and I and I wanted to get I wanted it to go out to charity immediately this it wasn't the sort of thing where I was happy to, happy to sit on it there is music that I've been working on this year that I'm happy to sit on for a little bit longer and just wait till it's really fully cooked um thank you so much everyone who's listening and sending lovely things I feel like what is it like writing the song what is it like writing the song like emotional where is Devon uh Devon is in the southwest of England um and there is I'm sure a much larger population of sheep than there are humans um hence the internet connection is really bad I wonder how fuzzy this is <laughs> um Um, I wonder, I think, I think it's probably close to my bedtime. I mean, perhaps, perhaps I'll have another shot of vodka and then go to bed and wake up to hopefully more messages about you guys listening to the song. It's not very fuzzy. Oh, someone's telling me it's not too bad, this line. Phew. We can see clearly. Oh, great. You know, it's very laggy. So I just... I don't get, I don't get this information and I get all kind of like, oh shit, maybe I should get off live. And then you guys send me messages saying it's all fine. So another shot, another shot. I, had, I will have to go downstairs and get vodka. Um, oh, Thomas, I love it when you use emojis. It makes me so happy. Um, I can see and hear very clearly. Great, thank you guys. Um, did you answer my question? I guess. Love the song. Um, release Blue. Someday I will release Blue. I promise. I promise. How long have I been writing songs? I have been writing songs for a while. Um, <laughs> I'm being so specific. <laughs> I've been writing music for a long while. Music was really uh, from my early, early teens, just the way that I processed whatever was going on in my life and still is. Um, and I, I read a Florence and the Machine thing recently. Um, she, she released a book of poetry, I want to say a year or two ago. And she said, uh, she said that songwriting sometimes feels like impractical magic because songs come to her and and there are narratives or or emotions that she's exploring in the song that she doesn't she maybe hasn't yet experienced or, or they they preempt something that's happening in her life and I really feel like that with songwriting for me like often often I'll write something really before I've understood something I've experienced or I wrote about a break breakup once before the breakup had happened, um, which was absurd. Like I, I mean, months before the breakup had had happened, I was writing breakup songs, which really should have been a big like, ah, yeah, you're not happy. <laughs> um, um, what's your inspiration when it comes to writing? Everything, just whatever, whatever I'm going through. Who's your favorite artist? Um. I, I mean, first person who comes to my mind is Joni Mitchell, just Joni Mitchell forever and always. I mean, there are many, many, many other artists um, who I love and adore, but certainly Joni Mitchell has been the top of the list for a while. Hello, I first saw you in a zombie movie. I don't know. I didn't know you were a singer as well. Yeah, that's OK, mate. <laughs> Most people don't know I'm a singer, <laughs> but you do now. <laughs> Oh, I'm so excited that this song is out. <laughs> I'm reading your question, sorry. Lots of people asking me to do my American accent, which is just bizarre. Do you not like me as an English person? K 
can you say something in Italian? All I can say in Italian is baffonculo, which I think means go fuck yourself. <laughs> I'm so in love with magpie. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for everyone who's saying such nice things. Okay, I'm rambling. Um, and I think that I should uh, get off live stream so I can dance around my room and share all of these links so that you guys can listen to the song if you haven't already. Um, and then I'm going to try and get to sleep. Wow, so many people are messaging me about me doing shots. <laughs> I promise I will have another shot at the end of this live stream. Um, <laughs> um, and you won't see it because it will take me about five minutes to run downstairs and get vodka and come back up here without spilling it because I am extremely clumsy. So, cheers for in five minutes time. Um, and I hope you enjoy the song and I think I will probably do a live stream singing the song uh, in the next couple of days and I will give you more information on that soon. Um, have a lovely evening, morning, whatever time it is with you. Um, <laughs> good night. <laughs> And 